All right, welcome everyone to video today. Start talking about entropy and spontaneity. So first, let's talk about spontaneity. Okay. Right. One question that plagued people, you know, what makes something spontaneous? Right. It's really with internal energy, entropy. Right. Um, think of our chemical reactions, right, and things that are being exothermic, right, having a negative change in enthalpy, right? Are those always spontaneous, those reactions? Okay. Well, we can think of, say, the burning of some sort of carbon compound, right, combustion reactions. Those could be considered spontaneous, but not always, right? You, you have a piece of wood just sitting outside, it's not going to just combust spontaneously on its own at the given temperature, right? So it's not, even though it's an exothermic reaction, doesn't mean it's going to automatically happen at any given situation, right? I mean, think of, right, freezing, <clears throat> I'm sorry, not freezing, but melting of ice, right? That's an endothermic reaction. It takes energy to um, break apart those intermolecular forces to allow the things to move around, right? That's an endothermic process, but at room temperature, that happens spontaneously, right? But it obviously doesn't happen below freezing temperature, right? So, right, what what is determining when something is spontaneous, right? Because it's not obviously just related with if it's endothermic or exothermic, right? Um, that doesn't have uh, right, that is not the only thing, right? There's something else that's determining when something is happening spontaneously or not, okay? Right, <clears throat> and, and we can think about a process where there is no enthalpy change, right? We talked about the expansion of an ideal gas into a vacuum, right? Well, if we do that, that happens spontaneously, right? You imagine if I have this, this you know, cylinder here that's split in two, um, right? I open up one side, the gas is gonna naturally move to the other side. There's no enthalpy change in that process, but we expect that to happen spontaneously and every single time I open up that chamber, right? And you don't expect it to go the other way, right? We never expect the gas to spontaneously all go on to one side of this chamber, right? Otherwise, the gas, you know, the air in the room that you're breathing could all of a sudden be on the other side of the room spontaneously, and then you could choke, right? Like, just you would have no, you wouldn't be breathing, right? You would, you, you would, uh, um, you know, or suffocate, I should say, I should say choke, right? You would suffocate, right? Because there'd be no air by you, right? And that obviously does not happen spontaneously. Right, and, and so point of this is again, there is something else that's determining whether or not something is spontaneous or not, right? Something else that plays a factor besides enthalpy, internal energy, right? Um, and the other thing to note, right, is spontaneity is a one-way process, okay? If something is spontaneous in one direction, it is non-spontaneous in the reverse direction, okay? Right. Again, under certain conditions, we'll talk more, right? We, we've talked about changes under certain conditions and things like that, right? And certain things will be spontaneous at certain temperatures and non spontaneous at others, right? Again, that the freezing of ice, right? Ice will freeze, or, or sorry, ice will melt spontaneously at room temperature, but it will not do it um, below freezing temperature, right? And, and so, right, the conditions in which your system is at will determine which direction potentially is spontaneous or not. Right, so either direction could be spontaneous depending on the right set of conditions, right? Right set of circumstances, scenarios, right? Um, but for a given, you know, temperature, pressure, volume situation, right, that you're in, only one direction of a change is going to be spontaneous, right? The other direction will always be non spontaneous, okay? Right. Um, <clears throat> Okay, and so that, right, that, that kind of does it for this video, just talking about what is spontaneity, right, this, this need for something else, okay, and obviously that something else is going to be entropy, and there's in the next video here, I'm going to start talking about what is entropy, right, um, and, and how do we kind of classify it.